I had another question from someone that wanted to know, why am I getting gout in my big toe? Why isn't it in my left shoulder? So we're going to cover that today. First of all, what is gout? That is a situation where you have uric acid crystals that are depositing in certain joints, okay? And it's causing pain. Now, what causes this to happen is a mystery. In fact, uh, researchers have a big problem trying to understand this because the minority of people with gout attacks have high uric acid. So in other words, the 10% of the population that has high uric acid, only a half a percent, 0.5% of them get the actual gout attacks. Okay, so that's kind of a mystery. You would think it would just be the opposite. And on top of that, most of the gout attacks occur when people have normal levels of uric acid. The other point about this is the uric acid crystals are not in the exact location of where the person is feeling the inflammation. In other words, they're located in the extracellular area. Okay, the inflammation is inside the cell. So that throws a little wrench into the whole theory. And so what they basically concluded from that is that it's an immune reaction that is transmitting through this membrane. So your immune system is reacting to the uric acid crystals, creating inflammation. And they also know that people with gout, they have a problem eliminating uric acid from the kidney. So the kidney is not getting rid of uric acid. And that could be from various reasons. It could be because you're diabetic or pre-diabetic or have insulin resistance. And that alone weaken the kidneys because kidneys are a target from having high amounts of sugar in the diet. And they also know that um, these gout attacks occur usually at night after you have consumed alcohol like beer, especially beer, um, meat, seafood, organ meats, fructose, things that are high in purine, which then gets converted to uric acid through a very specific enzyme, which I'm going to come back to in a little bit. But the point is that there are certain foods that can trigger this reaction, okay? So now the question is, why does it attack the big toe? Well, because of this. These uric acid crystals that are developing and depositing in the body are dependent on pH and temperature. In other words, if your pH is too acidic, like your urine is like, uh, like 5.7 or in that range, you'll start developing these crystals. And if your temperature is a little more on the cooler side, you can get more flare-ups from gout. Now I have a question. What part of your body is typically the coldest part of your body? Is it around your heart? No, it's in your toes or your fingertips. That's where they get gout. They can actually get it in the fingertips too, but usually in the big toe. So apparently out of all your toes, the big toe is the coldest part of your body. All right, so what can you do about this condition? There's some natural remedies. Um, number one, celery. Celery has a certain chemical that inhibits that enzyme I told you about, which is converting purine to uric acid. It's called xanthine oxidase. So celery blocks that enzyme so you don't get the accumulation of uric acid. That would be number one. Number two is coffee. Now I'm not telling you to drink a lot of coffee. I'm just telling you that the coffee bean, not the caffeine, um, can also decrease that enzyme. But I'm only going to recommend drinking one cup per day in the morning. The next remedy is tart cherry directly decreases inflammation from the reaction from the, the uric acid crystals. So it influences the immune inflammatory reaction. Now also to uh, help you become more alkaline, uh, there's two things. One is to drink lemon juice. So you might say, wait a second, uh, lemon juice is acidic, citric acid. How is that going to alkalize me? Well, it just so happens that when you consume citrates from lemon juice, it oxidizes and it turns alkaline in the body, okay? You can also alkalize your body from uh, things like potassium citrate, and that can help reduce the attacks from gout. Also, lemon has vitamin C, which can actually inhibit uh, gout attacks. And then the other thing you can do is you can start consuming more vegetables and keep your protein moderate, 
because those vegetables will not only alkalize you, they can help reduce the gout attacks. Now, there are purines in certain uh, vegetables and things like mushrooms, but they will not trigger the gout attack. Now, one last point I want to bring up. Fasting can increase uric acid, okay? Now, why does fasting increase uric acid? Because when you fast, you recycle certain proteins, okay? It's called autophagy, like nucleic acids, which are high in purine, which can then increase uric acid. But uric acid in the body is one of the most powerful antioxidants in your blood. So as your body is healing in the fasting mode, you're increasing more uric acid to actually act as one of the antioxidants in the healing process. All right, thanks for watching. Let's talk about the seven natural remedies for gout. What is gout? Well, gout is a sudden sharp pain, usually in your big toe, formed by uric acid crystals because there's excessive amount of uric acid forming as crystals in the joint of your big toe, but it could, it could actually occur in other joints as well. So what's happening is the uric acid is being formed from purines, which are certain compounds in organ meats, especially liver and kidney, game like deer meat, fish, seafood, sugar, yeast, even nutritional yeast. Some people are, if you're sensitive to that, that can actually increase the uh, risk of getting gout. Also in certain lentils and black-eyed peas, but for the most part, vegetables are very low in purine. So if you're sensitive to gout, uh, you want to increase your vegetables in your diet and cut down some of the things that can trigger the gout. But these crystals aren't the real thing that's causing the pain. It's not that there's sharp little razor blade crystals that's you know, irritating the, the toe joint. What's happening is your white blood cells consider the crystals a pathogen. So it's attacking it. So it's really your own immune system that's causing an inflammation. So what can you do about it? Well, number one, you can reduce these foods. Number two, you can tweak the pH of your body to make it slightly more alkaline because these crystals develop in more of an acidic medium. So one thing you can do is take something that's alkaline, potassium citrate, that would help. Lemon juice, even though it's acid, becomes alkaline in your body after it's oxidized. So lemon juice is actually very good. Now, even though apple cider vinegar is an acid, it seems to help reduce uh, uric acid crystals. Now, what I think that's really happening, and it's just a guess, is the apple cider vinegar is acidifying the body and improving the immune system to a certain degree. Vitamin C has been known to decrease gout pain. Ginger is a, a very powerful uh, natural remedy for uric acid. Also, turmeric is good. Stinging nettle root is another good anti-inflammatory. I like this a lot for any type of inflammatory condition in the body. And of course, like I said, potassium citrate. These are the seven things that I would recommend if you have gout. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.